Well, I first directed a play by Alan Akeborn about five years ago at Liverpool Playhouse, Season's Greetings. And I think uh, my approach to the play was much like a lot of people coming to Akeborn for the first time. You felt as if you knew these characters and you felt as if you were somehow going into quite a cosy world. And of course you do recognise these people, but the um, relationships and the circumstances and the um, class of the people that Akeborn's writing about are actually things I didn't know about at all. And I thought I did. I felt, you know, it's it's very much part of British popular culture and I I thought I understood what he was writing about and the people he's writing about. And in fact, I realised I had so much to learn. So when Kevin called and asked if I'd be interested in directing Absent Friends, I jumped at the chance because I thought there's so much more I need to learn. And um, in terms of testing yourself as a director the technical skills that Akeborn demands of you, just as much as um, developing the relationships between the characters, is very, very specific and very difficult. And I, I really relish that challenge that he, he presents us with. Fantastic. It's really, especially with a play like this, where the relationships and um, being, you know, we have three weeks to rehearse, so we need to that the actors need to trust each other and uh, create very believable relationships in a very short space of time. So from a director's point of view, it's good to work with people you trust and that you have already a very strong working relationship with. And then because I've worked with all the actors before, I could kind of imagine how they would relate um, and uh, bounce off each other. And so far, Touchwood, the relationships are working very well. Yeah, I've worked with Colin uh, quite a lot over the last uh, five, six years and I think the thing that was most interesting about this project, the work we've done previously has been kind of large scale uh, projects like Animal Farm and Christmas Carol and they really demand a director and a designer's vision, a very imaginative approach to that kind of work and of course this play is set in the living room of a contemporary house um, and that is the only location and so it, it was actually very difficult just designing a room um, and making sense of the geography of the house and making sure the class of these people and the period are both reflected very much in the furnishings and the, the kind of uh, walls that surround them. And that was, that was really quite challenging. I hope they'll, um, I hope they'll come in from the cold um, Oldham streets and be entertained and have a really... Um, enriching and lively evening of theatre. I hope also they might um, see a bit of themselves in some of the characters or relate to some of the situations and see how that might affect you know, their own lives. But yeah, I hope ostensibly they'll be entertained and challenged by, by this brilliant play and this fantastic group of actors.